Hey kitty, what's up? Hello, we'll be over now in a minute. Same shit to pa? Yeah, same here. So hopefully all is gonna be good. Or hopefully you had a good day today. So hopefully everything has gone well with everyone. Uh, we had a good day today. We went to the rec room, which is like half arcade, half restaurant. Now we didn't get eat anything at the restaurant, nor have we done that one. Phase case four continues. Hey Ironhead, welcome into the stream. Yeah, let's start once Colette gets her uh, gets over her. She's on her phone right now, looking up uh, Colette stuff. Whatever it is, it looks up on your phone. I don't know. But the sooner he comes over here, the better it is. Yeah, silly call it, I know. Uh, but yeah, we went to the rec room today. Uh, mostly, the kids were playing a bit. Self Purple Shark Queen did uh, play some air hockey. She won. Wait, she won? I think you won. No, I beat myself. I scored more goals on myself than what she did on me. <laughs> hey, I still had fun. Oh my man, I'll accept my defeat. Okay, I'm actually rubbing in myself that she won. Yeah, the trial. Trial. It's on the screen now. Remember our surprise day two trial. Day two? Yes, Colette. Uh, it would have been funny if I win against Colette. Yeah, but then if I beat her, she's going to beat me with the freaking hockey air hockey paddle. Hi. You see this air hockey paddle? It's like a blue shell. I'm going to hit you with it. So anyway, get out of the off part now. The kids had a lot of fun. I was shooting some basketballs too. What? Uh, I have a goal in the basketball to get over 150 points. Uh -huh. And I got about 90. Oh, but you're standing in one spot. And yeah, once you can get a good streak going. That one. At least it wouldn't be pie in the face. Yeah, no, we have that game. I think uh, my son just literally destroyed us. I have no idea what you said at the time with my headset on. But before we start all this one, I'm not worried about the virus from the ashes part because, yeah, we'll get to that probably later. And chances are, because we're doing this every Friday, it's going to continue into 2024. But some of the projects I look at wrapping up this year, Shining Force and... Super Mario Galaxy will wrap up this year, and I'm actually looking for a specific game now for much games Mondays for the YouTube channel itself. Much games. I'll give you guys the update right now. The uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is actually going to be on Mondays and Fridays for YouTube. The vods. So. But in streaming-wise, 
as I said before, and it still it still ramps up. But basically, I uh, for for like it's gonna be Star Fox 64 right after that. Then after that, it's a different project. It's probably not going to be as long. I don't know how long. Because generally it could be a short game, I'm guessing. Or mid-game. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, nice. So I fell out of dipping sauces for food. Still might, but I barely do that anymore. It depends on the food. For me. If we have chicken nuggets... Yeah, you're going to want a dipping sauce. Whether it's barbecue sauce or... Any, any sauce, really. Uh, mayonnaise. Just saying. I'm sure Bragg is watching SmackDown. If he's here, he'll confirm it. Probably waiting for uh, John Cena and Jay Us Jimmy Uso to show up. What else is on the docket? Oh! So starting on Monday, Final Fantasy VII and... Sonic Mania returns to my YouTube channel after being so long absent. My own fault on that one because every time I had an issue to record, either something came up or I just didn't want to. Now, in the recordings of Final Fantasy VII, I am up to far as getting into Rocket Town. So it's not that far from what you guys will see. In Sonic Mania, though, it's almost done in the full of recordings. Uh, so I'll have like, the final boss and then get all the emeralds and do the final boss again. It's maybe a bit tedious on that one. Because I was half thinking, well, I've probably done it on stream. Why do I have to do it again? But just for uh, common sake, I'm going to get both endings. Are you coming over? Yeah. No. Okay. And then after that, it's all going to be the uh, some of the stuff from, from since last year, since I started saving them. Some of the other stuff from uh, going on. Now, this other stuff that went on is more like uh, the VODs. You got Mario Party and Mario Party 2. All of them. I will have to edit them and put them up, but that's not going to be an issue. And then I'll start on other stuff. But anything for, that it puts on from Tuesdays to Fridays... Is going to be on my own channel. Anything from uh, Much Games Mondays is just going to be uh, Much Games related. So. Alright, so that's about it. Let me go get some water right now before I end up uh, talking my throat dry. And Kitty has to try to hydrate me. Hey, I, I, I appreciate it though. I will state that. So I'm going to get some water and then we'll get the syrup. You know, you can come over and talk to All right, let's get ready. Carla's gonna come over here in a minute anyway and put on her headset. Wait, Nightbot? How are you, are you stream elements? Nightbot's probably there, but... Eh, maybe someone can blue show Nightbot just for the hell of it. Okay, uh, da 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 da. Yeah, stream elements. Yeah, that's the one I I use that one because I found it with Nightbot. Yeah, I put in the same commands and it just wouldn't show up. So I was like, yeah, no. All right, here we go. 
December 26, 9.44 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 2. You're stuck under a kitty? Yeah, ours is over Ooh, across the living room. Stuck underneath the kitty. Yeah, okay. underneath June. Oh. How many kitties is he stuck under, I wonder? Yeah, it's just the one. He's at home. Oh. When he goes to the shelter, it's about five, six, seven hundred. <laughs> but the room's so darn cute. Hey, I'm, I'm not gonna argue with you. Hold on. Uh. Okay, you ready? I am indeed home. Yeah, the cat just came over. Alright. Well, you got your headset on. I'm gonna... No, you don't. Okay. Put your headset on. Okay. Ready? Sit. <clears throat> Maybe you show sure 30 kids that socialize in one space minus one that's skittish. Oh, you gotta hate them skittish kitties. Why? Well, actually, you gotta love them, but they gotta hate them at the same time. Why? Because they're not trusting of humans. And you gotta, skittish? You gotta oh, them. you mean like ours? Can be skittish with people. Uh, very us. reactive. And that's about it. Karma? That's it. That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. <laughs> He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. <laughs> god, a prosecution. A god. Not a single case? We'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> hmm. Yep, there's a good burn. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Renford von Karma is a man to be feared. That is quite a claim from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Yeah, he, is, he really should... <laughs> Ready to get the burn heel out? Yeah. Nice. Where's my Pokemon? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me. Multiplied by the factor of ten. Yowch. Ah! So, so was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. <laughs> uh, That's uh, a good one. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. Uh huh. I guess that's something like Mir was to me. <laughs> uh, more on the defense side. Speaking of Mir, um, Maya? Uh huh. We could be really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh! Huh? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. Probably eating too much burgers. My powers are weak again. From eating too much burgers. Oh, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Look at Tommy. Wait, she do like burgers. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Anyways, Colette. I'll try my best. Was Kitty the one at the drinking fountain? Uh, I said it was but... last night about Winnie. Oh, the, oh, the really cute one. She, it was on top. The picture that was on top of a blanket or something. It's like as if it was on top of the... It was like on top of like a little blanket or something, which is on top of the cage or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's Winnie. That's Winnie? 
Yep. No, yeah, but that's the one that got like three. It's like black spots. Like black spot on top of the head. More than just on top of the head. Okay, what else, Winnie? Other way. Uh, Winnie is the one with the black spot on top. That's it, isn't it? Or that's uh, Winston or whatever his name is. Windsor or Winston. Okay. Winston, oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to bring up the pictures just for you. Uh, yeah, okay. No. He... See this one right here? Uh, that... That's Winnie. Okay, no, not that one. All these pieces Oh, cute. with cat with the black spot on top. Yeah, uh, no, not her. I'll, I'll get you to show Okay, that's Winston or something. Okay. See all we cat. It's a blackie. Oh, oh, okay, so it's probably in a different set of photos then. Uh, I think... This one. No. That one! Yeah! That one! Okay, so it's... I want her! Black tail, white... Midsection... Black middle... No. Yeah, black And looks like uh, Mo on top. What? Both Winston and, and Winnie got that one. Yeah, he's, that's Winnie, right here. That's Winnie? Yeah, and the other one's Winston. Oh. And, of course, Belle just shows up out of nowhere. Winnie and Winston. Belle... Winnie no. is cute. I want her. I know she you got want a to be black midsection, black tail, and black hat. Enough. She looks like she's wearing a little black hat, basically, like Minnie Mouse ears or something. Okay, so let's get going again. She's cute. Yeah, he literally just showed up out of nowhere. So Winston is the. Let's go. So now... Hi, baby. Okay. Uh, you already said that, right? Meow, meow, meow. Yes, I did. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Uh, oh, oh, it's not. Bell! No. Come on! Oh, hold on. Did that really just happen? Yep. <sighs> well, good thing the thing is not. Where high. is my sissy? Hey, where's sissy, 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 sissy? <laughs> er, Ernie. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> oh, 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 it's it's nothing. Mm. Well, it's time. Let's head in. And let's get this child started. December 6th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number Wait, three. December what? 26th. Boxing Day in Canada. Sick. I know. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Okay, so for his voice, it sounds different in the game than what I'm going to give. I'm going to try to stick close to the enemy. <laughs> I can't make it sound British because I tried the voice I'm going with, with British, and it just didn't even come up. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> Here we go. Um, Mr. Bargama, is the prosecution ready? Seriously, think I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Uh, all right, my my apologies. Back to our <laughs> camera, full oh boy. Where do I begin with this? You do a really good voice with him. He's even got the judge scared. Very huh. well. Your opening statement, please. Huh. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I called the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Then Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at this map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of that lake. There were two men on the boat. Now. There happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then, the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. I've heard a map out of the court record. 
probably gonna need to use that. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now! Oh, 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 wait, Mr. Varkana. Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. <laughs> no, 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 according to him. Well, there's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. <laughs> yes, of course. You're quite right. Okay. <laughs> He's a bad drug game father and people hate him. Yeah, obviously. Damn gosh. <laughs> Why not call him Richard? Actually, it's a funny story. My sister graduated a person named Richard Head at school. <laughs> Moving on. No, he's not. The rest of Edgeworth. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We had to see the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now. Uh, <laughs> huh, huh. He even in the face of him was like, what the hell? And all I can do is press for now. You received a call from a uh, man? Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Again, there's where well, you hear that voice. That woman and the man who called through in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Eric. Their testimonies are quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping. A lot of hurt. Hmm. What happened next, Detective? How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Well, uh, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. A lot of the month is get there quick. Detective? You were afraid from cash on revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to you next year's salary with you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so much to look forward to these days. This is no time for dejective daydreaming. Continue. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Man, this guy is eating him alive. What was Mr. Edger like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. <laughs> Detective, the court requires you at the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on force? Facts only, Detective. Cold, hard, objective facts. Oh yeah, he's definitely a savage one. This makes Phoenix Wright's job a lot harder. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, he's got a, sh a fair share of objections. One way to put it. Also, make for my car be the like, courtroom? I am the courtroom. I make rules. He's more like the judge, jury, and executioner of every trial. Hey, Pepper Show Queen, what's up? Hi, sissy! Congratulations on beating Hubby Sab, but why did you think he was suspicious? You should, not, you should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep trusting. 
Poppycock. <laughs> I've never so heard so many flippant comments from an active detective from the Force. <laughs> Jack of Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue. Now! <laughs> Dude, he's trying! <laughs> Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through to her. Fatally. Judge? Here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone. So shape so is pretty well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. Just a bullet added to the court record. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon on the boat. The murder weapon? Well, he was shot with a pistol, so I'd imagine the gun would be there. Mm. Just not scared enough to drop it. A freshly cooked pie? Man, you're really vivid with that one, kitty. A mm. uh, pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sir, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was sets of evidence. Hmm. Let's press on it. What about the pistol? Made it decisive evidence. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Heck. He has the same evil laugh as his worth. There are fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They have a clear prints from Mr. Edrus' right hand. What? Well, we did see that in the last session. Order! Order! So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the motor weapon? Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accepted in the evidence. Pistol out of the court record. Motor weapon, 22 caliber, fired three times. There's prints from Edgeworth's right hand. And that's funny. Because didn't we hear two gunshots at the beginning of that scene? Exactly. And this is saying it was fired three times. Members of the court. We now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective? Uh, yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes. The ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hey, Nick! What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know basic, something as basic as ballistic markings. Well, she doesn't do detective work, genius. Nick! He's glaring at me! <laughs> Very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, me? <clears throat> nice how he's going to explain it and goes to the judge. Yeah, you know you're going to explain instead. Oh my god. Ballistic uh, <clears throat> markings are like their fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marking marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Okay, we get it, we get it. Order! Order! This is bad. Oh, she was big! This makes it look like Look like Edward did it. Well, Judge? I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... Huh. You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. 
out. Very well. I have some more fatigue. So, I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess. Dude, are you supposed... You're the prosecutor! Which will last ten minutes. Judge! Uh, yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now! Uh, uh, but wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Uh, yes. Ahem. This court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court, anyway? Hmm. Huh. 